Hello. Uh, <coughs> my name is Keshwani. K E S H W A N I. I will help you with the math portion of the SAT in these lessons. I will make one lesson each section of the exam. The the book that you need to purchase is this book, the official SAT study guide. The official SAT study guide from the College Board. There are eight exams in them. I will work through all eight of the exams one by one in separate discs one section per disc and there are three sections in each of the exams so there are all together 24 lessons that you're going to see that I'm going to put together today I'm going to work on exam number one exam number one which you're going to find on page 395. It begins on page 395. But I always start from the back of the exam, from the end of the exam, so that uh, we take care of the difficult problem first. Because you may not need help on the first few questions, because they are easy. SAT is a standardized exam. And one of the characteristics of any, standard, any standardized exam is that it is always broken up into three parts. The first one-third of the questions in the given sections are going to be easy. The next one-third in a given section of the same type of questions, if they are all multiple choice questions and if there are 20 questions in the section, like this one that we're dealing with, section number 3, on page 395, it has 20 questions, which means approximately the first 7 questions are easy, approximately middle 7 are medium, and the last 7 are difficult. So I'm going to start from the number 20. And I don't have a liberty of writing the questions on the blackboard, which is why it's important that you purchase the book, the official SAT guide. Give me a call at that number and you can buy it directly from me. Or you can go to one of the bookstores and buy it yourself. But I can send it to you right away, the very next day. In addition to that, we will also be working on our vocabulary as I go through my lectures, once in a while I will introduce a word that will just crop up in my lectures and uh, I will also work on the vocabulary on the side and the book that you need to purchase for that is called Vocabulary Energizers Vocabulary Energizers this book is also something that you can purchase from me just give me a call at 1-860-933-1017 or email me, you will find the email address of my website www.prep for sat.com that's the O, prep for sat.com, one word. Let's begin then. I'm going to read the question to you and you're going to have to read the questions to yourself with the book. This question is on page number 400, section number 3 of exam number 1. It says the least integer, the least integer of a set of consecutive integers is negative 25. So we know that the least is negative 25. And there are, well actually we don't know how many there are, that is the whole point, we have to figure out how many there must be. And we are told that sum of this integer is 26. How many are there? Well, if the sum is 26, then what we need to realize here, this is a hard question, which means we should always be always be alert about Sucker's answer. Let's write down the answer choices here, A, B, C, D, E. And an average person, the average Joe on the screen, you know, he sees, he sees 25 in the questions, he sees 26 in the questions, so they're not doing the right answer typically. Just because the sum of the number is 26 does not mean that there are going to be 26 integers. Those are, those are sucker answers. 
the answer is going to be either 50, 51 or 52. Well, let's take a look. If the sum is 26, there is your 0. What you have to realize is that there is this negative 25 and there is this positive 25. The sum of all these numbers from negative 25 to positive 25 is going to be what? It's going to be a big fat 0 because they cancel each other out. The negative 1 is going to cancel out the positive 1. The negative 24 is going to cancel out the positive 24 and so on and so forth. So the sum of all of these integers is 0. But we are told that we have a set of numbers, consecutive numbers, where the sum happens to be 26. Well, in order for sum to be 26, we need this guy also. So how many are there? Well, that's the tricky part. Some people in their haste might conclude that there are 50 numbers here and then 51. That is not correct. There are 25 on the left hand side of the 0. There are 25 numbers on the right hand side of the 0. And of course the 0 itself is an integer. So there are 51 integers from negative 25 to positive 25. And then of course number 26 is also an integer. There are altogether 52 integers. And the answer is E. As you can clearly see, the hard questions on the exams, on the, on the SAT, are not hard because they involve complicated mathematics. That is not the reason. Hard questions on the SATs are not hard because they have al complicated algebra or complicated trigonometry, sine, cosine, or calculus, or you know, complex statistics. No, that is not the reason. The hard questions on the SAT is are hard because they involve some kind of thinking. They have some twist, usually two twists in the hard questions. Medium questions have only one twist. They have some twists in the questions that require some kind of thinking that an either person that an average person is either incapable of doing or is unwilling to do because he is lazy. You should not be lazy. You should put in your time and you should put in the effort and the concentration and pay attention to all the minor details. Don't 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 uh, uh, jump to the conclusion and then just pick the first answer that comes to your mind. The answer here is 52, not 51, not 50. That's it. Now what I'm going to do now is make a, go through all the other questions in the sections as many as I can in one hour session. Uh, put them on a disc, on a complete disc, and then when you call me you can purchase the disc from me. But this is the end of my clip that I'm going to put on the YouTube. If you're interested, give me a call and uh, uh, I will take care of you. Thank you.